My name is Adam Peterson. I'm the manager of the Know the Truth Substance Abuse Prevention Program. In 2006, Minnesota Teen Challenge saw a need to prevent addiction before it started. That year, we began presenting in 20 high schools. Last year, we spoke to over 40,000 students in over 110 high schools and middle schools all across the state. And know the truth, we really believe in the power of personal experience. When we come into the classrooms to talk about the risks of using and abusing drugs and alcohol, we don't come in with a lot of facts and statistics. We come in with individuals that have struggled with addiction in their life. People that have made the choice to use and abuse and have also made the choice to change their lives. We want our stories to be an example of what not to do, to provide the students with an opportunity to really evaluate the choices they're making. Because through our personal stories of addiction and the choices we made and the consequences we experienced, it's clear where our choices had gotten to us. I started doing heroin when I was 18, and within a couple weeks I was completely addicted. I'm only gonna do it this one time. And it went downhill from there. And like I wasn't just like smoking a bowl here, taking a shot there. Like I was using massive amounts of drugs every single day. I lost all my serious relationships. My girlfriend left me. My family wouldn't even pick up the phone I called. I had to sleep in my car because I didn't have any place to go. I lost my restaurant, my career, my job, everything. I was hopeless. I didn't think I was ever going to be able to stop. I didn't know how I was going to have to live with myself. And it got to the point that like I need drugs and alcohol to survive. And so I'd be sitting there at night and like I'd have to like drink and smoke myself to sleep. And so I'd be sitting there and I'd be shaking, my heart would be beating all fast, and I'd slowly start to fade away and I'd think like this is it, I'm overdosing, I'm dying, I'm done. After each one of our presenters shares their personal story of addiction and how they recovered from it, we have an opportunity for questions, which is extremely unique. It gives the students an opportunity to ask a real life individual about the consequences of their choices. We have insight that a textbook doesn't offer. We bring the curriculum that they have in the health classes to life. One of the options within our presentations is small groups. We know that guys and girls face different issues, used for different reasons. These small groups give us an opportunity to address those gender-specific issues and cultivate a comfortable environment for them to open up about their struggles. At the end of our presentation, we pass out a resource card to the students that have helpful tips on all the issues they're facing, not just drugs and alcohol. And then we survey the students, giving us an opportunity to collect valuable information on the drug trends in their school. Sharing our personal stories can be extremely difficult. Reliving the negative choices we made, the consequences of them, talking about the things that we regret. But one of the most rewarding things is seeing the impact that story has on the students' lives. The goal of Know the Truth is to get the students to think about the choices that they're making, to get them to think about the consequences that could happen if they make the choice to use and abuse drugs and alcohol to prevent them from going down the road we went down. We never thought addiction would happen to us, but it did. And we want the students to know that it doesn't have to happen to them.